Bernd, if yeah. I snap my fingers, yeah. you won't remember you were ever gay. But I was never gay. Exactly. Urgh. Yo, what's going on, guys? And welcome to Random Shit. And we spell it differently, because otherwise YouTube beats us with a toaster. <laughs> and I am here with Z-Boys. Guten Abend, he Herren. Oh. Guten Abend. Guten Tag. And today we have something special. Again, like always. Not like this graph. This graph is... Yeah, it's not, not that, that special. special. Uh, he's special in a different kind of way. Neil, give it a helmet. But Berend has been down the rabbit holes of conspiracy theories for us. And he's picked us some diamonds out of the rough. Berend, tell us about it. I've been watching some bullshit and I found some weird conspiracy theories and after that I was like hey that would be great to show you guys and then I watched some and some more and some more and that is how the rabbit hole goes yeah you just did the tiktok yeah. I Berend made a tiktok you went down the rabbit hole so how about you guys get your tinfoil hats for the month I have yeah. a beanie does that work no no tinfoil hats go come on uh, did you actually bring one? one wait you don't good luck guys you're gonna die I have a can like a Aluminium can, so I can just make a That's... make a safety circle around me. You know? yeah. It's like a salt circle, but for conspiracy theories. Yeah. I'm also protected. Japan protects me. Anime uh, protects uh, me. Uh, <laughs> okay, good luck. So yeah, the first three are just funny. This is just what got me into the. Okay, let's go. We didn't have tornadoes here until we started putting into traffic circles. Because on the counter, you want to know why? Traffic uh, when people go round and round in circles, it causes disturbance in the atmosphere and causes tornadoes. <laughs> So yeah. this guy says <laughs> roundabouts cause tornadoes. And that's why yeah. we have all the tornadoes here in the Netherlands. We, we yeah. don't have any roundabouts at all. That's why we no. are safe. Feels Every f 10 meters, there's a fucking <laughs> roundabout. It's Dude. so annoying. They used Dude. to put speed bumps in the road. Now they're like, yeah. no, roundabout. If you leave my house, you will see a roundabout. You turn right. You see an instant roundabout again. You go straight for like, ah, oh, let's say 100, uh, 200 meters. Yep. You get another roundabout. That's you go straight you. again. You get another roundabout. Me and Mil grew up in Roundabout City. Yep. Going from one side of town to the other side of town, I'm not shitting you, are seven roundabouts right it's, after it's each other. Stupid. But yeah, yep. this is one guy having a theory. This is uh, a theory that actually quite a lot of people apparently believe. See. Have you ever heard of Let's the lottery happens. conspiracy theory? You know when you go inside of a gas station and you find lottery tickets and people buy them and they scratch them off in hopes of winning millions of dollars. And you never win, yeah. I actually had a colleague who actually won. How much? 2,500 bucks. Oh. That's decent. He also you d got scratch cards every fucking Wednesday for the last two years. Yeah, how, how much yeah. is that? <laughs> exactly. I was like, how much did you actually win? He was like, oh, not that much. How much were they and uh, how many days? <laughs> Most of them are like much. 10, 15 bucks, I think. Yeah. It gets expensive kind of fast. There's 52 weeks in a year. But, like, you want 25, so he's still so, made to it those bucks. Uh, so, yeah, but the like amount that. of depression you have to go through. Like, you opened 52 fucking scratch cards. Yeah. And you got disappointed 51 times. I would stop after the third. Like, okay, I'm not lucky. Bye. But, but Thomas, yeah. that's it, where the gotcha addiction comes Okay, in. for fuck's sake, I'm going to buy a lottery ticket tomorrow. <laughs> and, and I'm going to scratch it in the next recording. Anyway. What if I told uh, you about the conspiracy theory that says the government created the lottery in order to catch time travelers? What? This is an I was like conspiracy. I mean, the government in the Netherlands actually is the only one who can do lottery, but... What the fuck? Time travelers? Excuse me? I was in on, on his theory being, you know, somewhat viable considering lotteries and the ID behind them is kind of scummy. Me. But go somewhere useful. Now time travel. Conspiracy theories are okay. interesting because most of the time there's some truth in them. Except for these. Okay. I mean, the, yeah, no, the earth no, is the not flat, but it's quite kind of interesting to look at them, explain it, you know? That's the annoying part. thing about conspiracies is the first couple of conspiracies, the wide spread conspiracy were somewhat believable the kennedy assassination is one of the the first major conspiracy there's some believable truth in there that not everything is completely right but nowadays it's just there's a dude that doesn't believe uh the sun is real and he posts it and other people are like starting to think yeah oh my god he's real. so smart is anyway yeah. Okay, so people believe it. the government created the lottery in order to catch time travelers. The chance of winning the lottery right now is about 1 in 14 million. I like those odds. It's the same chance that you get what you want in uh, Genshin Impact. So basically, ah. if every person in Belgium bought a lottery ticket, one person would win. That's basically what it is. If you say it like that, I might not get that ticket. No, no, with my luck, I would win something, but it would be totally, like, unusable, yeah. you know? Like a, new, a fucking a new... boat motor or something. Not yeah. even worse. 
a 10 bucks, but your lottery ticket was 15. Or a pie from the Hema. Great, I have a pie that cost me 25 bucks now. <laughs> yes, a fucking coupon. Like, ah, oh, you lost, but here, have this, you know? Or, or yeah, the one that says... Uh, another ticket, like you want another ticket, oh, like, okay, yeah, the fuck? why? What why? am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> we have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Now let's take a look at one of the most popular lotteries called the Mega Millions. You okay. have a 1 in 300 okay. million chance of winning this lottery. Or in other words, you would need to be struck by lightning 21 times back to back to back in order to win this lottery. You don't have to get struck 21 times by lightning though. No, that's not how, that's not how chance works, but... Because it multiplies you know i know what you mean yeah yeah that's why people nope. believe the government created this in order to catch time travelers is because the time travelers would know exactly where to go and exactly which one i don't have to be a time traveler to actually win that thing but there is always going to be a winner that uh, one winner has, imagine, has to be the time imagine, traveler every time imagine the amount of money you could make by selling lottery tickets and uh, never actually give a price yeah i think i can uh, even make a better better looking and more fun lottery ticket I instead agree. of just yeah, the, the, the cheap just piece of paper you get you know <laughs> just the receipt with all the fucking rules written on it you know totally yep. ruins how it looks yep. like yeah like you spend 25 bucks on a really aesthetic looking paper and yep. then yep. if you win you can hang up that beautiful yep. aesthetic piece of instead paper of on the wall receipt. but oh. anyway so have you guys ever seen color yes i'm sure you have never seen all the colors this dude is gonna explain oh. why you heard the color theory what's the color theory they say if you don't know the name of a color those colors are the same yeah i agree but fuck i'm annoyed am i an alien now because i can't see i think if one is different the third one you're on right now i'm gonna tell you why this is all different quote-unquote colors because uh, you know the colors have hex codes so yeah you have yeah six yeah thingies, yeah, yeah. So, it's one six, is six, so it's six at six and one is six 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 five yeah yeah it doesn't make sense right yeah yeah it does they did a test a uh, bunch of shades of green and then one blue one and they brought this mm -hmm. color palette to these tribalists somewhere in the amazon in their language they have no word for blue they only have words for green a bunch of green and then one blue when they showed it to the natives they were so confused they took like hours literally hours to decipher like which one is the blue one but is it not obvious yeah it's obvious to us because we know the name blue and the name green okay so the theory so is if, that if, if you, someone if just you doesn't don't know the, know the color like the word you yep. don't know what it is you know you can't see it that's, well, what that's why saying. yeah that's why illiterate people you know see in black and white that's boring this same theory could you you could apply to animals if i don't know what a cat is i cannot see it that's why i've never seen a yeti because i you don't see, know what it is you see, you see the logic behind it makes no sense you also can't say that it's not true it's like and a theory you can't disprove and this is exactly why i put this one in here oh this I, is... I, I have an example parent if yeah. i snap my fingers yeah. you won't remember you were ever gay but i was never gay exactly ah oh yeah <laughs> uh-huh yeah. this is the ground of every single conspiracy theory you cannot yes. disprove it because people cannot disprove it it's always true wow yeah. what yep, a that's great the way to... every... but anyways this is a huge conspiracy theory and i legitimately when i was working at a garbage truck i had a colleague who believed in this there are people living inside of the earth it's true. It's the mole people. New information from NASA mm -hmm. states that there is a large ocean beneath the Earth's crust. After scientists detect... Yes, uh, ocean of lava. Yeah, yep. basically, yeah. <laughs> you know those colors? Those were colors for, like, heat and <laughs> yeah. temperature. It's, yeah. it's like a heat map it. flipped around, you know? It gets better. ...below the surface. Around 500 miles below, a large supply of water has been found stored in a rock named Ringwoodite. Ring Ringwoodite. Okay. I don't know what has to do with anything. Scientists say that this rock is so huge that it contains three times the amount of water on the Earth's surface. That's not a rock. That's a uh, mountain. That's not a rock. The, no, it's, it's more than... That's a fucking continent, bro. <laughs> that, no, yep. that's that's actually a planet. That's called a planet. Yeah, it's <laughs> three that's, times, that's the, three amount times the amount of water. Wait, so you're telling me that there is three times the amount of water in this r supposed rock than there is on planet Earth. That would mean that our most of our core is water. No, no, water. no, that's not true. Because let's say the Earth is like a like a yeah. baseball. If you put a hair on top of it, that's how deep the, the, the oceans yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. So okay, it's not right. a full planet, you know? Yeah, but okay, it is right. a large amount of water. And a large oh. and lava and magma and bullshit. Yeah, I don't know how that will no. work. It's probably steam. Also, <laughs> like this AI-generated pyramid thing. 
all of these images are just all in the <laughs> it's all AI is all right. Yes, this is the water. See, the pyramids yeah, yeah, come yeah, out yeah, of the uh, water. Yeah. Yeah. The big penises, yes. That's why the desert is so dry, because all the water is down there. That there the is earth. more yes. down there than we originally thought. Possibly even civilizations. You know, it's always funny to me. It's always whenever there's a yeah. hidden civilization somewhere, they are super advanced. They have ray guns yeah, and yeah, lasers yeah, 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 and they yeah. can fly. Oh, yeah. they, and, can, and they can use uh, the, the, the moon for energy and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. And why do we live on the surface? And, and they, they live don't... down below. Maybe they don't know about us either. Ooh, maybe we are the first to discover. Okay, but they are more advanced than we are, remember? Oh. Why would we be able to dwell the surface and they dwell in the cave? That does not make sense to me. They <laughs> like was... it more in the earth. They want to keep it to themselves. Probably communists. Yep. That's why we Even don't know yep. about them. Possibly. While the news of this discovery was over 10 years ago, it was never mm -hmm. talked about. Uh -huh. Is ah, the government uh -huh. hiding this information from us? Is it? What Is do it? you think? What do you think? I think it's I fucking think bullshit. So. But Elon bullshit. Musk thinks it's it's true. Oh, what? This bit went viral. Now this is scary. Apparently, there are people living inside of the Earth. This is a fucking AI. Do you see that, right? It New information from NASA states that there is a large ocean beneath the Earth's crust. Like, Hold up. Wait, imagine this is your job. Just thinking up yeah. unbelievable dumb shit. Yep. Putting it in, a, in an Elon Musk AI voice thing. Putting some yep. images from another podcast behind it. Bam. Yep. Fuse. It's so easy to think of. Like, whenever me and Emily were uh, long distance and she couldn't sleep, she asked me to think of bullshit stories. I could think of so many at the top of my head. You know? And just to dis distract your brain. Sorry, I just wanted to imply this, uh, this Elon Musk. Jam I just bullshit. wanted to see if you, how fast you would pick up. That was just earth. fucking dumb. So apparently there are entrances, entrances to this place. Oh yeah, the poles, oh, of oh, course. Cool. Now, now that's not true, that? because because the uh, South Pole is a wall. It goes no, no, all no. around everything. So here's the wacky thing. The South Pole, yes, is actually an island. But technically the North Pole does not exist. It's an ice sheet. It's an ever-moving ice sheet. Yeah, there's no North Pole, technically. There's no landmass or nothing. Inner Earth entrances. One, Antarctica. Some theories suggest there are entrances at the poles, specifically Perfectly Antarctica, round, yeah. where guys people claim so secret where, bases. Where that is? That's not Antarctica. That's uh, Greenland, where your mouse is. Right <laughs> Two, Mount Shasta, California, USA. Of course the US. That looks like okay. a pretty sick mountain. Is that real? Mount, Mount Chester. Chester. Hold up. It's real. Oh my god, they actually use real mountains. Whoa. Yeah, Display. it's real. Look. Okay. Look. Yeah, you won't be able to I, see, but look. No. It's real. Oh. Agartha. In Eastern mysticism, the underground kingdom of Agartha is believed to be accessible through caves or tunnels in the Himalayas. The place where a lot of people die, you know? Yeah. That's where the entrance no. is. Yep. And all those people who vanished, they're in Agartha. All, all on Agartha. No, Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. USA. Yeah. I've been in Mammoth Cave. Did you explore beyond the, 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 the borders, you know? First of all, it's huge. Like, think of a soccer stadium. Yes. That's how, that's yep. how big it is. Natural cave. Yeah, I did not hear any mention of there is a, a cave to the... Uh, no, because they're there. hiding it, Beerit. Oh, they're hiding oh, it. They don't want us to know. Hiding it. It's, it's secret. You know what annoys the crap out of me about these kind of things? This would be the easiest conspiracy theory to prove. Yeah. yeah just go there. As it takes just one expedition of a group of people that want to prove this to go there to make a video and if it does exist ta -da, you know what nobody actually did go on expedition <laughs> you know what actually someone is telling everybody that he did they went there yes i have i found videos of an interview with a dude yeah. who is telling everybody that he went there what he found there what he saw there and he didn't make the pictures like it's 2024 no no no, 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 no he no, made no. ai pictures Here's a video of shit that's what's down there. It is down there. Ooh. Giant monsters. <laughs> what's down there? Giant fucking monsters, bro. <clears throat> it's like doom down there. Why do I recognize this dude's face? Yeah, I know. I uh, His name is... Uh, fuck, I can't remember. What a name. Like, fuck, fuck, I can't I remember. remember. Emory Smith? Smith? Yeah, that's what it is, yes. Why are they here? Uh, they're a natural defense mechanism from the planet. But well, hold up, if they're massive fucking monsters, how did he make it back? I mean, it, he doesn't look like fucking Rambo to me. <laughs> and also, where's the evidence? Yeah, where's like, the pictures? You know what you're getting filmed with, with that camera? You could have brought one. He probably had his phone with him. Even Nokia's 20 years ago could make photos. My personal encounter with them is they're highly intelligent. And I guarantee you a it's living creature encounter. that's two or three hundred feet tall that's, you know, uh, several hundred thousand or a million years old has a consciousness that probably defies understanding from 
me or you anyway. What did it say? Two or three on a two to uh, three hundred feet. It's about sixty meters tall, seventy meters tall almost. That's, that's, that's like huge. fifteen stories or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, that needs humongous amounts of food. What do they eat? No. Something that big needs a lot needs of fucking food. Does he eat the earth? Does he hollow out the earth? Wait, that water? is what made the hollow earth? Holy oh my, shit! Oh my. It's a good thing I'm wearing oh this cap. You know what the hollow earth? Theory reminds me of. You know, as a kid, you started digging a hole. It's I'm gonna go to China. Yes, exactly. You, yeah, that that whole whole theory of I'm going to China, and yep. then as a kid, you would like put your head in the hole and yep. you would listen, and you would yep. sometimes think you oh, hear yeah. weird noises, yep. and then you would think, oh my god, I can hear the dinosaurs. Oh, that. I can hear the. Uh, the, the cut that out. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I know what you mean, Bill. You could hear that hollow <laughs> ooh sound. You know vibrations. what you hear? Your fucking blood rushing through your ears. Yeah, okay? and also exactly. just vibrations that go through your ears because you're in a sandbox next to the highway. Could you give me an example so, of Mil, what I mean, one of these you know. giants look like? Sure, I, I've only had one personal experience that I can relate. While I have been briefed on the subject and I could describe a few other things. One Wait, he hasn't seen them? Uh -huh. or what? What the yeah, no, he's theorizing both that he has seen them and not seen them. Okay. He's briefed on it and also personal experience. Uh, but he also hasn't seen them. Yeah. It kind of feels like he's, he, he's talking himself into it, you know? That's what most of these are. If you... Want to imagine? Oh my God! Earth furry confirmed. Big furry yeah. primate. Yes, yep. there's a furry. Like, in like it. he is there's saying, there's a furry in the earth. A That's very yep. kinky. Damn. Okay, but he is Ooh. saying something that resembles a big furry primate. Maybe it's Satan. Mm. Okay, remember this is King Kong sized. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't say that is a big primate. I would say that is a huge, humongous skyscraper. No, that's not okay. But it's still, you know what I mean. <laughs> that is apartment building size. Yeah, it's an apartment monkey. Apartment that's not monkey. a big monkey. No, it's like, not a monkey. It, it's a primate. Something that resembles a big furry primate, maybe like a sloth that uh -huh. walks on its hands. And what is a walk on though? It's water, right? Oh yeah, that's all water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a primate, he like see the nose? He needs to breathe. Yeah, but I see nice holes there's... in this story, Mister. <laughs> there's the fuck? oxygen created by aliens down there. Oh, yes, yeah, the true. the natural earth vents boil the yeah. water and the bubbles. Um, that he breathes yeah. the bubbles. Yes, and mm -hmm. is covered with hair that looks like giant dreadlocks. The and way he is. said that, just like, he, he just pulled it out of his head, like... You know, I, I know how he got this story. He was using shrooms in his backyard. Yeah. The, his backyard was under construction, there was a big hole. His friend was with him, he had dreadlocks. They were doing shrooms, they didn't yeah. have and a trip they... sitter, they fell in, he hit his head, he was mm. tripping balls like he was seeing really big primate, but he was just laying on the ground looking up ah. at his friend, you know? Yeah. And he had dreadlocks, and it was dark, so he didn't see well. Mm -hmm. And the day before, he went to the, uh, the zoo and he saw sloths. So mm -hmm. that's why he also thought of a primate. Uh, you know? yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they yeah. just had like a like a shroom conversation with each other, with his friend thinking he's like this this god, and he's laying on the ground, you know, looking up at him. Yeah, the, this is yeah. how this story was created. Makes you can sense. put it down on paper. This is canon. Canon events. How tall do you think, you know, could you estimate? I would estimate that it was probably between 250 and 300 feet tall. Yeah, but... It, it does work, like if you're laying on the ground, something is stand, standing yeah, but not in front of that, you. It's, it's not a three-story apartment building. No, but if you're in shrooms, it is. I rest my case. He talks out of his ass. Uh, mostly, yes. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've tried to find the second part of this, but I couldn't find it. But I found ah. this. This dude has been in Hollow Earth. He's been there. Okay. You He's and your team there. went into the inner Earth. What See? was the mission and how did you get there? Well, we use portal technology. <laughs> okay. <and laughs> Guys, hear me out. I went yes. to Area yeah. 51 yeah. and I saw a portal. I was like, yeah. let me borrow it. And yeah. uh, with that, he, he like put in random coordinates because mm -hmm. he was fucking convinced that the inside of the earth was hollow. So he yeah. put in coordinates for the inside of the earth and then he went there. Right. And then died in lava. Yeah, yeah he is like, oh, portal. <laughs> ah! Like, I tried fuck? to swim in lava, you know, the Minecraft respawns, the screen pops uh, up, yep, you know. Yep. I love it how this interview went from zero yeah, to it just wow. went wow. you know. But it gets even better. When you play this, you'll notice something. Let me let me give you a tip, sir. If you want to make some someone believe something, you have to use the burger theory. Right. Mix, you have to mix in truth with lies. So you have to uh, go truth through, through lie, through. Yeah. That way... 
it seems kind of believable what you're telling. But if you instantly but, start with fucking portal technology... Maybe, you know, maybe put that portal technology a little bit later. Like, you, you put some truths and some, like, half-truths and then mm -hmm. suddenly bring the portal technology. So, you know, the portal technology doesn't seem that weird anymore. This seems like a good time to mention this. I have not found the credibility of these people. I have Googled and I could not find the credibility of these people. <laughs> so I cannot confirm nor deny if it's satire or that it's serious. But, but there is a fuck ton of people that took this as credible and serious. So this might be satire. Yes, but, but other people believe it. Theory. And that's so amazingly great <laughs> yeah. about conspiracy theories. Someone can make a fucking joke. There's this map up of a flat earth with the, the ice wall and yeah. behind there beyond there there's asgard there's atlantis yep, there's yep, athens yep. have you ever seen it yeah 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 i've seen it I've there's seen a it. whole tiktok channel on 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 the bullshit and i'm fucking sure it's satire but <laughs> people take it completely serious once you get into the inner earth how do you move around do you walk do you drive what do you do what the fuck dude they were portaled there they don't have a car yeah, he's in on it you're still in the earth aren't you what do you mean did you walk like uh <laughs> Now you floated did you, somehow. <laughs> did you type slash no clip or something, you yeah. know? Like, I don't know if you noticed, but the lower you go inside Earth, gravity becomes stronger. Yeah, yeah. And like, also pressure. Yeah, and pressure also, I think. Yeah, you would, would get squished instantly. It would be like a Titan moment, you know? It's that whole thing of being on a merry-go-round. The moment you pull yourself into the thing, you feel like you're going a million kilometers an hour. And it's, then when you lean outwards, you feel like yeah. you're going very slow. That's kind of how the Earth works as well, you know? So yeah, everything's on foot. Uh, we do have assistance with special types of robots. And the, ro oh, yeah. and the robots didn't have cameras. No, no, no. They didn't take any pictures. Cyber they recorded it, but it got corrupted. Did everybody yeah, have yeah. a specific purpose? Oopsies. Yes, everyone had a specific purpose. Some uh, The camera was just sick, so that's why we didn't have footage. <laughs> no, you, you see why I say I don't know if this is satire or not. Yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. I like, it's mean. so incredibly unbelievable, but somehow there is people that believe this shit. This is the easiest one to disprove. Or to yeah. prove. You don't have to disprove it because science just says it's untrue, you know? There's also people that believe that the Earth is flat as a pancake, you know? But the rest of the solar system, you know, is all serious. That's how he created it, you know? And with he, I mean Mr. Nick Cage right here. Yeah, definitely Mr. Nick Cage, yes. Anyway, yeah. do you want to watch us see the sun conspiracy? Because there's two suns, obviously. You, know, you don't see him, but there's two suns. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and they're both giant light bulbs. They're not real. You want to see us watch that? Like this video, subscribe, so you don't miss that one. And if you believe any of these theories, you know, let us know in what kind of theories you actually believe in. I believe that our ch channel has 10 million subscribers. I believe that's a conspiracy though. Anyway, <laughs> click the videos. They're Smart very guess. fun. I like this I one. This one is very nice. We don't yes, like this I one. I, I like both, you know, just watch both. So guys, instead of wise words, have you learned anything? I learned that as a kid, I was kind of stupid for believing things. En zo zie je maar, Peace. truffels doen ze werk. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Peace.